Hey, how's it going, everybody? Clash here, and welcome back for some more of Super Hostile Infernal Sky 2. And today I am bringing you guys a movie for the 10th episode because some of you guys were asking about that, and I said maybe, but I'm not sure, and it looks like it's going to happen. So, uh, spent a little bit of time searching around here in the shredded sky, and I finally found the second piece of wool that was in this area. And I could have recorded that, but it would have been boring because I just would have been walking around. But now it is up to me to try and figure out how to get down there without dying. So, what I think I'm going to do is, um, well, first of all, let me go ahead and get out of this area. I just walked right over here, and then I found that, uh, you know, in between all this gravel, the wool was down there. So I'm going to try and get down there without uh, dying. I just want to, like, dig through here and maybe get all of the loose gravel to fall so I don't have to worry about it falling while I'm trying to get to the wool. And uh, we'll see where that leads us. Let's go ahead and dig our way through here. Come on, where's that uh, little crevice, that hole in the, the ground or whatever? A giant hole in the universe. It's like right there in the island. Wow, this is taking like a while here. Oh my god, that's so much gravel. Like <laughs> what? Oh man. Um. Okay, I got this. I got this. We'll just dig our way through. You know, I might as well just dig my way up or something. I don't know. It's it's tough. This is just a ridiculous amount of gravel. Let's go over here. All right, here we go. Here we go. The wool is like right down here. And um, you know what? It might be smart just to do this. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, I'm good. Look at that. <laughs> It worked out. It worked out. I got my diamond armor, which I think may have helped me with fall damage. I don't know, but the point is, I'm alive, and I am well, and uh, I hear a skeleton somewhere. Wait a minute, is this part of a dungeon or something? No, it's just, you know, a random little place in the universe here. Light gray wool, sweet. Alrighty, so, probably could have done that a uh, little bit more efficiently, but I don't care. I got the wool, still alive. There's a bunch of diamond over there that I don't really care about, because I've got plenty of diamond already, and I wonder, can I just, like, mine my way out of here? Might just be nothing but sand above me over here, though, so I don't know if it's gonna be... Yeah, I don't know. Actually, if I just mine all this, then I'll have, like, a nice little tunnel going up there that I can just put blocks down and, like, make, like, a pillar. I'll do that. There'll be a pillar inside of the world here as we get this Minecraft music going. Usually, I don't record with the music uh, turned on, but today, I don't know. I just felt like it. Oh, my God, it's dark. I just felt like doing it because, you know, why the hell not? Damn it. That torch is, like... Making things difficult here. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is not going to work with that torch there. Yeah, whatever. It's going to be dark for a little bit. Just bear with me until we get to the surface here. What I think I'm going to do is actually go ahead and make my way back to the Victory Monument and throw this wool up, and then we'll head down to the Under Sky because that is where all the remaining wool is, I am pretty sure. So let's go ahead and... Come on, come on. Get to that cobble, stupid mouse wheel. Alrighty, so I have finally made it back up to the surface. we got the wool. We've got everything we need. Now that's left is the Undersky, and I think there's actually five more pieces of wool left after the light gray wool that we just got, so I think four of them are down there in the Undersky, and there might be one more somewhere, maybe in the, uh, the, what was it, the ship armada or something, the space armada, the grand armada, that's what it was called, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back to Victor Monument, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so I've made my way back to the Victory Monument, and now we can finally place this light gray wool on top over here. And we now have five pieces left before we can finish this series and be good to go. But before we move on to the Undersky, I just wanted to show you guys this bow over here that I enchanted. It's got power two and punch one, and that's why my experience has uh, dropped by, I don't know, 20 levels or something. I think it was like 19 experience levels that it took to uh, enchant this bow over here. And I don't know if I even showed you guys this, but this is the little enchantment station that I made uh, last episode or before last episode. But um, the weird thing is, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because um, when I was trying to shoot stuff on my way back from the Shredded Sky, the bow wasn't working. It was doing what it did last episode, and the arrows would shoot and then drop after going about two blocks or something. But now it's working. I can't really explain why or, you know, how that was happening. But if somebody can explain that, then uh, feel free to do so because uh, it was a little bit poopy. But let's go ahead and kill this creep over here. And look at that. That guy is so dead. That is a dead-ass creeper, but yeah, with that being said, we can go ahead and make our way to the Undersky and get things rolling here. Okay, so the moment you have all been waiting for has finally arrived. We are here at the Undersky, and now it's time to actually get some action in here, or at least hopefully, because I'm sick of walking around. That's all I did in the Shredded Sky. It took me a solid 20 minutes to half an hour to find uh, where that second piece of wool was, and it is a little bit irritating, and it's a little bit dark over here. What the poop? What the poop? I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some torches because it's too dark. I don't even think stuff can spawn on glass, but just to be safe, just because I don't want shit spawning behind me and ruining my day and pooping in my Cheerios, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. And actually, I can probably just jump this. Yep. 
Not a problem, but finally, we are here, and I am hoping there's like an actual dungeon somewhere down here, or once we get into the nether, because I think the nether is in here. Like, I'm almost 100% sure, and holy shit, it is dark. It's just a dark-ass cave. Potions, low. Huh, I guess I could take some potions here. Not really uh, too keen on using them, because I don't really care too much about potions. Like, I haven't used them that much at all during this entire playthrough, but more bricks. It's not too bad. Go ahead and put that one back. Um, I guess we can take some more coal. I hope I have enough materials, uh, but if I don't, then I will go ahead and, um, oh shit, I didn't bring more than one stack of arrows. Eh, I'll go ahead and take those then, if that's the, if that's the deal. I thought I had another stack of 64, but no, I want to put this sign away. Yeah, if I don't have enough materials, I'll always just cut it out, uh, going back to the Victory Monument to get more, because you guys don't want to see that. I don't even want to do it, so I'll cut that out of recordings. Um, if it comes down to that, if I need to... Go ahead and head back over there to get more resources. But I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to go. There's no guidance around here. There's little floaties, which kind of gives me the creeps. And nothing is spawning. Uh, does stuff not spawn on bedrock? I imagine that might be the case. Okay, is there like a wall over here? It just keeps on going. Holy shit. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> like, does it stop? Is it just a big-ass cave? Huh. And wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this over here? Got like a structure of some kind. That's just like a pillar of bedrock. What's going on? More floaties. What the hell? Um, can I at least get like a sign that tells me where to go? I'm just gonna keep on going over here to the left. To hug the left wall. Oh shit! There's something on fire here. That's the uh, thing I was told to do: is hug the left wall. Anything back over here though? That well, looks like it's just more dead end stuff. And all right, cool. Well, we found some netherrack that's on fire. I wonder here. Here's a skeleton, I think, and there's some obsidian. Holy shit, holy shit, and that looks like a nether portal to me. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hold off here. Wait until I, uh, throw up some more torches around here. I wanna see if there's just anything whatsoever in the immediate area. Yeah, I don't see anything. Somebody said that there was a piece of wool down here, but then if you go through the nether portal, there's the rest of the wool. So I don't know if I have to keep on searching down here, like... If I did, if I had to search this whole thing, that'd be a little bit poopy. Just for one piece of wool. Especially when there's, like, nothing down here. Like, there's nothing I can fight. And I could have sworn I heard a skeleton. I, I thought I heard one, but... Yeah, there's, like, nothing down here. Oops. Wasting torches at this point. Yeah, at this point, it's just really just a bunch of random... Oh, my God. What? Oh, jeez. I didn't even realize that. I'm, like, right above the, uh... An area where you could fall out of the world over there. That's gotta be it. This, this has gotta be... There's got to be shenanigans afoot over here. If I can fall out of the world over here, there's got to be something important, right? What's going on? There's got to be some wool nearby. This is way too conspicuous or something for it to not be important. What the hell? Maybe if I go up? Oh, there's nothing. It's just like an area surrounded by little holes where you can fall out. That's poopy, man. I could have could have died there and lost all my crap. Holy shit. Well... I guess I'll go ahead and head back in this direction. Still got plenty of torches and plenty of coal to make more torches and wood, so... Not too worried about my torch supply. Uh, if I'm wasting stuff, then it's whatever, but... Yeah, I guess we'll just go through the portal then. I mean, I don't see anything else around here, so... In we go! And now I hear stuff. That's weird. Whatever. Well, let's see. Um, it's another intersection. And that's a lot of gravel that is just going to fall down there, so... Fantabulous! I guess we'll just go ahead and make our way over here. Alright, don't mind me, zombie pig man. I'm not doing anything, man. Just, just bug off. Can I go ahead and, like, get him to fall off of the, uh... There you go. Sorry, I don't want you accidentally... Holy shit, he had a... He had a bad day. I don't want him accidentally knocking me off, but... The Red Mist Beckons. Creeper... Creepy Creeper Castle. Oh, wow. That's phenomenal. And then, uh... You have to burn the wood. Okay. What's going on here? And I hear a ghast. Warning, this area is very hard. If you give up on this section, I won't blame you. Are you kidding me? We got this, man. Let's go ahead and throw up torches. Okay, burn the wood, huh? If it's very difficult because of gas, then... Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell? Okay. Alright, I wonder if you burn the wood... That, uh... <laughs> some mobs will start pouring in. Go ahead and break that. I'm gonna throw that down. Well, um, flint and steel. I'm not burning that shit. That's way too... Ooh, golden apples. That is way too, uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. 
quite yet. I'm not gonna burn anything. Hey, some wheat. Not bad here. We can make some more bread. Not that I really need it. All right, well, um, I don't really feel like burning anything because if mobs start pouring in, then it'd be kind of bad. So what I'm gonna do is just chop my way through it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if, uh, if, it, like, if there's a specific reason why it has to be burned, like absolutely no question, but I'm going to go ahead and not trust Vex here because he has led me astray before on like one or two occasions, but on those, what? Wow. <laughs> wow, this is that, wow, okay. All right, fine. Yeah, that, that, all right. Okay, Vex. See, this time he did not lead me astray. He, this is the easy mode one, huh? The brown wool. Yeah, it was easy mode on um, Sunburn Islands as well. Cool. Well, um, what do I want to get rid of here? Speed, regeneration, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I should get rid of. Let's get rid of... Nah, I'll just get rid of one of these potions. Speed 2, I don't really know why I would want to be uh, using that. So, let's go ahead and take some of this brown wool. And I'll remember to... Well, hopefully we don't lose it during this... Uh, episode here, this movie, but I'll remember to throw that back on the Victory Monument, or not back, but it will go on the Victory Monument at some point during the end of this, uh, this movie here, at the end, so I think what I want to do is actually keep one of these chests around, and I don't know how I want to do this, but I'll just make a new one. Let's head back over to where we spawned in, and uh, oh my, what? Are you kidding me? Why are there so many zombie pigmen around here? This poopy. Just get out of here. Ugh, ugh, there you go. Alright, cool. They're just gonna, like, run into me and get me to fall off here. Alright, no, I'm, I'm not gonna fall off. You guys can fall off. I mean, if that's what you wanna do. Oh, God! Oh, run! Oh, God. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright, alright. I wonder, can the gas... I imagine the gas could break the, uh... The iron bars if he wanted to. Let's go ahead and... Don't do anything, Gast. I don't know what his agenda is or his objective is, but... You know, that's why I should have brought the obsidian with me. I could have used it to make, like, an unbreakable little shelter around here. But whatever. Let's go ahead and get rolling here. Make a workbench. And then... blah blah, blah. Random achievement get. That's cool. Probably because I had to uh, reinstall 1.3 after using the snapshot for Team Fortress 2 in Minecraft. But, uh... Let's go to make a chest now. Now we can store miscellaneous supplies in here for if we need them later, but here we go. Alrighty, well thanks Vex, I appreciate you um, giving us this brown wool all easy mode and stuff, yeah, that was not difficult at all. What else should I put in here? I guess some wood and a backup diamond sword and I think I'll hold on to most of everything else. I'll put away some coal. Just free up some inventory space and this wheat that might actually come in handy for later, so. All right, I think I'm good now. Now the brown wool is safe and sound in there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, move on to another part of the intersection, I suppose. What the hell? Look at this gravel bridge over here. This is poopy, man. Why? Oh, man. That is horrendous. So you could take your chances and hope that the gas doesn't ruin your life by breaking any part of this bridge. Or, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Screw it. I, I really don't care. Just, yeah, what? What the hell? Oh my god, not even, the whole thing didn't fall down. It's not all connected, I guess, huh? Alright, well, I'm gonna make my own little uh, safety bridge here. In fact, what I might do is just edit this out, because this is just gonna be boring. This is just gonna be me building a bridge. This is just gonna be... Yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'll edit this out. Unless something interesting happens, then I'll leave that in. But until then, I guess I'll see you guys when we get across this poopy bridge. Okay, so it has been taking a while to make my way over to the wool, but I do believe I see the little enclosure, you know, case of glass where the chest would probably be with the wool and whatnot, and I think I'm just going to make a run with it. I've been building this bridge for what feels like forever, and I had to go back and collect a bunch of cobblestone, too, to uh, get this far. So I'm going to go ahead and make a run for it, and hopefully no ghasts uh, or zombie pigmen, for that matter, ruin my day. So I'm just going to try and pick my steps, and, you know, I'm just going to keep on moving, actually, really quickly here before any ghasts... Uh, come back for some reason they stopped. I don't <laughs> I assume they'll come back in the near future But uh, I haven't seen me in a little bit so I'm taking advantage of this opportunity and here we are We are here at the, uh, the place where the wool is at so green wool there better not be any other wool Anywhere nearby this location like if there is then I will be upset and what's that noise? Sounds like something's on fire. Where's that? What the hell is that a blaze? That's probably what it is, right? It's gotta be it. Oh, what the hell? There's some diamond over there, too. Oh, wait a minute. 
Now I have to check out what that's all about. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and get our way back up here. And you know what I'm going to have to do? Because I can't. Oh, yes, I can. All right, cool. I want to go over there now. Wait a minute. I think I have enough cobblestone to make my way back if need be, but shoot, there might be something important over there. Screw it. I'm going for it. Ugh. Ugh. I think I have enough cobble to uh, make my way back if I need to, but it's just the stupid gas. They're the problem, but they won't destroy a cobble bridge. I had to wait around and test that theory out to uh, make sure, but all right, we have a bunch of diamond and wait a minute. What the hell? Just a bunch of glowstone. I thought it was netherrack, but it's just glowstone. All right. And a bunch of chests as well. What's going on? I still don't know why the gas aren't spawning and attacking me, so... Oh, God. Are you kidding me? I don't even know if I am capable of killing these guys. Potions and something else. I'm not sure. Wildfire? Center of Chaos? What the hell? Okay, you guys need to stop. Ow! No! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Stop! No, no. Eat the food. All right, I'm good. All right, cool. Now let's just go ahead and use the uh, bow then. No, stop. Stop that, please. Ugh! Just kill all of them. I don't know how strong these things are, though. Ugh. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. They keep on spawning in. So now I have to... Wow, great. Well, um, let's go ahead and build a staircase. This is way too much fire that I'm going to have to be dodging here. No. No. Ugh. Ugh. So I have... No, 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 no. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. Hey, look at that. Look at that. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a cheater. I'm going to cheat. I don't care. Ugh. Ugh. No. Ugh. Okay. All right. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Um... Holy shit, what should I do here? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold the phone. If I break... This thing is just like solid glowstone, huh? So I could dig my way underneath that spawner. And then... Break it that way, somehow. And then from there, all I have to do is kill all of these guys. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Get over here, so I can kill you. All of you, just get over here. Come on, it's not a big deal. Um, and I don't have those potions, damn it. That's what I wanted to use. Some potions of regeneration would be nice right about now. Whoa, calm down, buddy. Just calm down. Super blaze. Die! And he's dead. All right, cool. They're not that tough. I think this is the first time, really, that I've ever fought with blazes and stuff. And the experience is doing that weird glitch again. Ow! No! No! Stop! Stop being on fire! Come on. All right, we're good. We're good. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about anything. Uh, uh, no! No! What the hell? What the hell's going on here? No, stop, stop. You need to stop it, buddy. I'm sorry. Sorry, you brought the spawn yourself. No, get out of here. Ooh. Oh my god. I need to get to that stupid spawner. Ugh! Oh god, this area's on fire. You're dead. Okay. Alright, I think I killed all of them, actually. So the second... Oh no, I didn't. Let's get over here. Screw it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna get up here. Build a staircase. Ugh. Ugh. Just build a staircase. Let's do this thing. I've got this. I've got this. No. Ugh. All right. Break it. Break it. Ugh. Ugh. Got it. Yes. Sweet. Okay. All righty. Who wants some? Anybody? Anybody? I didn't think so. Wildfire. Oh, God. There's one over here. Ooh. Die. And I think that's it. All right. Good. And we get some nice music. All right. Cool. Rock Bane, the mountain's foe. All right. Um, let's see what this is all about. Holy shit. That is a very good diamond pickaxe. Oh, man. All right. And it doesn't break, apparently. Unbreaking 4. That's pretty good. Combat supplies. Anything really good in here? I guess a pork chop will do. Um, arrows. Sure, why not? Put away some glowstone dust and these signs. I also accidentally used my water bucket, too, while I was building the bridge. But I guess it doesn't matter at this point, does it? Alright, what is this? This better be... Holy shit. Fire aspect and knockback. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to... I, don't, I mean, this one has a better upgrade, I think. This has a better enchantment, not upgrade, but... I don't know, fire aspect. If I can light stuff on fire, that's pretty good. Potions? Instant health or generation? I think I'll take the instant health. And the regeneration, too. Put away the sand. Put away that sign. Excuse me. Um, instant health. Body blah. Okay, cool. Oh, man, that was nerve-wracking. Where are the gas, man? Where did they go? Kind of want to make a, a run for it. Back to the, uh, the bridge, too. I don't care about this diamond. I really... Like, I've got... I've got plenty of diamond here. And there's plenty more back in... The regular overworld or whatever. I don't know. I kind of want to just sprint for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No gas better shoot anything at me. I'm just kind of strolling here. I mean, the good thing is that because it's not all interconnected, the whole thing doesn't fall down if uh, some of the gravel gets disturbed. And there's... I hear a gas somewhere. No. No. Oh, here's what I got to do. Uh, get the cobble. Get the cobble. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. Don't even worry about it. Oh. Oh, throw it down. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. 
All right, I'm on top of things. Uh, whew! Okay, just sprint for it. We're sprinting back to the bridge. Let's take it to the bridge. Everything will be okay. Whew, whew. Don't kill me, anybody. Nope. Don't shoot anything, Gast. Where is he? I hear him. I hear him. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. Okay. All right, I'm good. The bridge is right there. I'm be almost home free. Holy shit, this is stressful. And look at that. Finally. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That was nerve-wracking. Jeez! <laughs> I don't want to do this ever again. Oh, man. No, stop. Stop. No! Leave my bridge alone. This bridge didn't do anything to you. Hey, you better get over here. I'll kill you, I promise. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. I got no ow. Okay, screw it. Screw it. Oh, no. I had to make some of the bridge out of wood, which was a bad decision. But in hindsight, it doesn't really matter now because we're, we're gone. We're done with that area. I got the items that I could possibly want, all the items I could need, and uh, I got the green wool. All right, don't shoot anything over here, buddy. I don't know why they took so long to start coming back there. They just went away randomly. Okay, well, now they're back. I got the wool. It's all that matters. Okay, actually, I, I should put some more supplies back in over here. Um, what should I put away? I kind of want to put away some, some blaze rod. Yeah, we'll put away some miscellaneous stuff. I want to hold on to some potions, though, like instant health. That might come in handy. Actually, I should put that in my immediate inventory over here. Um, I don't really know why I would need a diamond axe, but I guess it'd be good to have. God, there's just so many decisions here. Uh, a bucket. That might come in handy if I want to get a bucket of lava. Kill some mobs with it. And I, th I think I just want to hold on to everything, to be honest. All right. Yeah, whatever. We've got some backup stuff there. be better if I had more supplies in there. Actually, let's put, a, like, half of our bread away. And let's actually just put one of the diamond swords in there, even though we have another one over there. Put away the enchanted one as well. And, yeah, I think I've got plenty now. Yeah, we'll just keep ten bread in there. And that should be fine. Okay, basically it's up to me to not die. That is the main goal that I have in mind at this point. So we got the wolf from right there and over there. I assume that the last bit of wool is over here. Um, what does this say? Enchanted gold armor. Okay. Unless this gold armor allows me to fly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit upset here. Um, protection. Does that mean this is really good? Like, I don't, kind of want to take it, but at the same time, no. No, gas. Stay away. Stay away forever. Uh, what else should I get rid of? I really don't know. Why do I have so many iron pickaxes? I can get rid of one of them. Yeah, I guess I'll just take the armor. I kind of want to just make a run for it. I don't see any gas around here, so screw it. I'm not going to build some protection or anything. There better not be like a hole in this bridge. No, it looks like we're good. Okay. Alrighty. We are in... Oh, what the... No! No! No. No. Really? Silverfish? You've got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can, I can deal with that. Not a problem. Let's break that. Alrighty. And, okay, there are creeper spawners everywhere, and they're in bedrock, so... Eh, I'm not too worried about stuff. All the spawners might be in bedrock, but I've got diamond armor. Alright, I feel a lot more secure here. I can't fall out of the world randomly, or can I? Is this lava down here? Oh, no, it's just a big staircase. Ew! Those are giant creeper statues. I didn't realize that at first. This is horrible. Ugh! Over oh, torch! Oh, man. I hate this place so much. I can't wait. Once I assume there's just, like, one piece of wool here. And then... But after that, I still need one more... I need two more pieces of wool. Even after all this. Because I've only gotten two so far. And then... One. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've got a ways to go here. Creepers are starting to spawn in. I don't know why they're taking so long to, like, spawn, spawn in, like... In mass or whatever. And then usually they start spawning in a little bit more quickly than that. But whatever. I don't care. <laughs> They want to just spawn in, like, two creepers or whatever. I'm good with it. Hey, there's a spawner right here. It's a creeper spawner. Huh. Things are suspiciously easy right now. I'm not sure why, but... Okay, I was about to say, that's a dead end. You can suck my butt game. I see the wool already. Really? Nope, get away from me. I meant to pull out the sword, but no, stupid mouse. Oh, God, what the hell? Wow, really? This asshole Blaze over here just decided to show up out of nowhere. Oh, dead, dead, and there you go. Alright, put out this fire. Is it like a blaze spawner, or did he just, like, come over here randomly? I don't quite understand. Well, I see the wool over there, but that doesn't mean... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's two pieces of wool! Holy shit! Hot damn! Okay, really? Oh, God. Okay, this is not good. 
Well, we have the creeper here. And no, 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 no. Aw, oh, crap. Yeah, we're still good here. As long as it doesn't blow up the wool. And there's the black wool. Wow. That was just, like, way too easy to get. Okay, whatever. Not gonna complain. Wow, we might, like, beat the map today. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I, I don't, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but... It could happen. We're not even, like, half an hour in here, and, okay, you can do... Oh, shit. You can die, creeper. Yeah, we've got... We only need two more pieces of wool now, and one of them is, like, right over there. I don't know how to get there, but... If we can get over it in there, then we'll be good to go. Okay, now the creepers are starting to spawn in a little bit more frequently. But how do I get over there? There's gotta be a way. Where there's a will, there's a way, of course. And... I just don't know what that way is yet. But I have the will. That's not the problem. Go ahead and throw torches. It's way too dark in here. You couldn't have at least, like, lit the place up. I mean, I realize it's supposed to be tougher on me, but come on now. Give me a break. I don't care about creepers. They can do whatever they want to do. Gas are the big pain. Like, I mean, I realize they're easy to kill, but still. I don't even know why I threw that down. Take the torch. Well, they're still a pain. The fact that they fly around and they could knock me off or kill me by... You know, destroying the surface that I'm standing on and making me fall to my death. Overall, this has just been a stressful time. So over here, maybe. I'm going to go over here to the left. Yeah, that might make sense. We'll go over yonder. This is gross, man. He just had to make a castle dedicated to creepers and shit. Yeah, we might beat the map during this movie. I'm not going to, like, you know, say it's a for sure thing, but, like, maybe a half hour in here, 20-something minutes in, and we're only... I know where the, like, one of the pieces of wool is. It's right up there. And then there's two more after that that I still don't know where those are. I might have to look through some comments before I, uh, go seeking that stuff out. More golden apples, I guess. And, yeah, there's really nothing else of interest right there. And really, what's this guy doing? I guess he spawned in, and now he doesn't know how to get down. Whatever. That's his problem, not mine. Random workbench here. Oh, that's weird. And some planks. It's a bit strange. Uh, can I just, like, build a, like, staircase that goes up there? I don't know. Hold on. Go ahead and check out this chest right here. And it's just more stuff. More golden apples and more torches, I guess. Okay, but is there a staircase that leads to victory? Maybe around here. Calm down, creeper. You need, I don't know who you think you are, but I'm just gonna run away from him. Huh. That, yeah, that just led me in, like, a big circle, didn't it? So should I just make a staircase that goes up to over yonder? Is that what I should do? I feel like that's what I should do. Fine, if that's what I'm supposed to do, if that's what the uh, the objective is, then I'll go ahead and do that. Get out of here, man. I, I don't care. You <laughs> no, stop. Ugh. You guys aren't doing anything right now. So this isn't quite what I expected either. I mean, it's all been really... Been, this entire map has been stuff that I haven't really expected. Wow, that cobble. That was like one little swipe by the pickaxe, and that was it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. This whole thing has just been completely out of character with what I was anticipating. And, really, that's all you had to do was just make a staircase that goes up here, and then walk over here, and, um, okay. Build a little staircase that goes up to this platform, and then get some more wool. I imagine the red wool is going to be in there. That's what I feel like's got to be in there. Wait a minute. Okay, that's the other wool over there. Hey, there's another chest right here. Let's loot this, shall we? And just more golden apples. Uh, that's a lot of care packages there. He's being very generous with them. Not sure exactly why, but whatever. I'm not one to uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, this is a tiny little man playing piano on that horse's mouth. In that case, why wouldn't you look at that? Oh my god, no! Uh, uh, calm down. Now, I can't even build a staircase here because of these guys. Okay, if this is the way it's going to be, maybe I should do this instead. Just build like a little pillar right here. And then... Okay, I got this. Now look at this. Hey, you're on fire, buddy. That can't feel good. Sorry, I'd help you, but you're trying to kill me, so... That's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's go ahead and build over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're in business. Now I can get here without anybody pooping my materials. Okay, all right, yeah, I heard the blaze. I didn't think you would actually be enough of a butt. Okay, great. That's just amazing. You know what? I'm going to build like a little... There we go. Aha, look at that. Look at that. All righty. This will do. 
Now I can just bail out of here once I get the wool. Okay. And there's the red wool, like I thought. Now what should I get rid of, though? Uh, this cobble? Actually, I can put this cobble right over here. That's a little bit better. Alright. Holy shit, I'm in business here. Can I, like, break the spawner that's up there? Oh god, no, I broke the chest. That is not good. I should put that back down. Where's the chest? Need to get that. And then throw it down. So I obviously don't want to take all the wool with me. That is bad. Let's just go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh... Really, was that all the... Oh, that's right. That's um, The chest can only hold so much there. Because he stacks in one. Alright. Well, it's a lot more empty than it would have been. Let me go ahead and go with my regular number of 15. That's typically how much wool I will take with me. But, oh my god, there's a lot of stuff up here now. Time to bail out. Alright, calm down. Cal oh my god, what the hell? There's some zombie pigmen up there. Alrighty, well, might be on fire, but uh, I feel like I'm still good. Still good to go. Alright, now I can just get out of here. Wow, now everything's spawned in. What the hell? Leave me alone. Ugh. Yeah, I got some health right there, I think. I don't know. <laughs> May have used that potion incorrectly, but oh my god, what? No, get out of here. All of you guys, oh no. I just angered all the zombie pig men. And maybe, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Is every zombie pig man in existence now mad at me? Oh shit. Ugh. Screw this, I'm out of here. We're leaving the nether, guys. Ugh. Ugh. Just jump and sprint, jump and sprint. Alrighty, prance like a lion. Er, sprint like, I don't know, prance, prance. That's something that, like, gazelle do, not lions, I don't think. But, um, you know what, just for the fun of it, you guys, actually, I don't know. I need to free up some inventory space here. Regeneration, yeah, I'll use one of these. This might come in handy. Need to free up some space, because these guys are going to start chasing me. Whoa, look at that. Just just for the funsies of it. I'm going to piss all of them off. <laughs> they just jump off. Uh, all right, get this wool, get that wool, and we are out of here. Ah, look at this. Look at me. Oh, oh. <laughs> and all dead. Actually, I want to go back and get some of that bread. I left some stuff there. That was good. So we have the green wool, the red wool, and the black wool. You know, I can just kill all these guys. What am I doing? Fuck you guys. I'm way better than you at everything. Uh, uh. Alrighty. Um, yeah, get that bread. Get the wheat and the coal. What can I drop here? I don't really know. Should I? I can come back here. We might finish this. I, <laughs> what's the point of this juncture? Um, let's see. Rotten flesh. Yeah, I don't need rotten flesh at this point. Looks like I can always easily harvest more. And put away some sticks. I have plenty of wood planks and everything. All right, that'll do it. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. We're done with the nether, I think. Unless there's more wool in there somewhere. But um, from what I've heard, there's also some wool in here in this giant cave somewhere. I don't know where. Because they, there's supposed to be a piece of wool in the under sky. Like just around here in some random location. It's, it's a little bit annoying that I'm going to have to search through all of this to get to where I need to go. But um, what I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and start making my way back to the Victory Monument. It's going to take a little while, so I'll probably edit this out. But I'll meet you by, uh, guys back there, and we will go ahead and throw all this wool that we just got up on top of there. So I'll see you guys back there in a second. If I can find out where the nether portal is, it's right over here. And, okay, how... I think that... Yeah, it's like we have to go in this direction. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and run over there, and I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so before leaving uh, the Undersky, I decided to take a look around, and upon investigating a little bit further, after I had looked around here and stumbled around in the dark for a bit, I found the last piece of wool, and there's a battle sign here, I guess I can check out whatever's in here, get the battle sign, fire aspect, knockback 2, sharpness 5, and looting 3. Wow, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> Um, I don't know, Does it, it doesn't matter at this point, like we've won, that's the end of the map pretty much. I didn't expect it to end that quickly. I had no idea that we'd be wrapping things up today uh, in less than an hour, uh, no less. That's That was kind of, it sounded weird because less and then no less. But anyways, yeah, it's that's crazy. Um, there's the blue wool. Holy shit. Um, get rid of these stupid boots. I don't need them. I don't need anything at this point. I mean, we've won. All we have to do is go back to the Victory Monument. And uh, yeah, that, that I, don't, I don't get it. That was much less... Uh, uh, much less of a struggle than I thought it would be. It was more tedious than, like, a struggle. Is that the end of... Yeah, that, I could have... I almost jumped down there for a second. But, um... Yeah, that was much, much less of a struggle than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be full of, like, dungeons, and they would be, like, incredibly long and everything. I just thought... It, I, I, for, I was expecting more of a custom mappy type thing, which is, uh... That's not 
what a super hostile map is all about, obviously. That's not what super hostile maps uh, bring to the table. They bring, you know, like a struggle to survive on the table. So it's understandable uh, that it wasn't uh, what I was expecting, but I just expected uh, more dungeon-y stuff. I know I said this throughout, like, the entire playthrough, but still. It was only ten episodes long, too. Like, that's that's incredibly short. I expected it to be much... Uh, much longer, like a solid 30 parts, if not more. Now I'm just going to stumble around here in the dark and try to find my way out. Uh, actually, is it right up here? I think it is. Yes, this has got to be it. Oh, no. Or maybe that's it right over there. I think it is, and yes. Alrighty. Took me a while, but I found my way out of here. But, um, yeah, so now we have the blue wool, the brown wool, the green wool, the red wool, and the black wool. I thought we only needed, or I thought we needed uh, two pieces of wool. But, as it turns out, we only needed one, and now is the blue wool. So let's go ahead and make our way out of here. And the sun is setting, so I'd rather wait uh, and sleep. Actually, let's go ahead and throw a bed down right there and sleep the night away because I don't want bad stuff to happen to me. So, cool. That's going to do it pretty much for Infernal Sky 2. I'm going to go ahead and make my way back to the Victory Monument, and we'll throw up all the wool and call it a day. So see you guys there in just a moment. Okay, so it looks like our final trip to the Victory Monument has been completed, and I can now place the blue wool, the brown wool, the green wool, red wool, and black wool on the Victory Monument, and that will wrap things up. So from the diamond all the way down here to the white wool, we have completed this thing, and it took a lot less time than I thought it would. It took five episodes less than uh, Sunburn Islands. I am very surprised. I thought it would take twice as long as Sunburn Islands, if not longer. And on top of that, I thought it would be more difficult. And I just thought there would be more, you know, dungeon escapades and whatnot. But overall, still pretty fun. It just wasn't what I uh, had expected it to be. And it wasn't what I had uh, thought it would turn out to be. I might do another Super Hostile map. After playing this one, I'm not so sure. I think I'll have to go and do a little bit more research uh, before I do my next Super Hostile map. And figure out which one would suit me more. Because I liked Sunburn Islands a lot. So if there's another Super Hostile map... That is uh, similar to Sunburn Islands and like the style of that, then let me know what that is. But until next time, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, super hostile movie finale thing. And if you did, please be sure to leave either a like or a comment or a combination of the two. It would really help me out a lot by letting me know that you enjoyed this series and that you have enjoyed this finale. And on top of that, it helps the channel grow. And that is always fun. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Remember that I love you all, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Yeah.